Welcome to the Global Author Podcast. I'm Matt Connor Whiteley, science fiction, fantasy, and a global author, bringing you publishing, writing, book marketing, and a global author ideas of your book to help you sell more books and write better books. For more information and your free global author training, please go to theglobalauthor.com. And here's the show. Hi everyone and welcome to episode 74 of the Global Author Podcast with me, Connor Whiteley. And today's episode is on is a podcast in mind for writers and global authors. So this is an absolute brilliant podcast episode if you're thinking about podcasting and if you want to see if it's the right for you. So I really do recommend this a great podcast episode. And it's Saturday the 27th of November 2021 as I record this. And as we slowly start edging to December... December there were like you might want to start thinking about what you want to do in like a 20 or 22 as a part of your author business yes I know that I definitely will though and the spirit of like Joanna Penn though on my life with you of the year and then my plans for a 2022 yes and I'll be doing like a podcast episode site on that but before we move on to the content part of our today's episode, I just I want to give you a quick personal update. So I've been doing like a lot of different like business pieces, but the main thing that I want to talk about today is that, so I mentioned like last week that I was doing my first science fiction mystery novella, and it actually turned out really, really interesting now. So I know that you're meant to do like all advice in a like in that to the dark house, so like no like outlining. Yeah, but this is especially true for mysteries because the problem is is that if you plot it all out a like ahead of time, then now what happens is that you lay everything in, and before you're even like uh, um a third of the way through the book, the reader knows who the killer is, that's it. and then like that spoils it. So well, what I've actually decided to do is I sort of yes, is that like this book I'm just writing completely in a to the dark because I did do a extremely rough outline, started writing it, and I just went. I'm not going to follow with this outline as I've been writing in to the dark and I've been having a blast like with it that one. And because I've been writing in to the dark, like so many little surprising things and the plot, <laughs> and even though the plot's been a very uh, surprising though, so I really am in enjoying it. <laughs> very like, funny though, where is that? Like yesterday, yes, I was like writing a long and I did like a chapter 20, left it on an action packed clip for a hanger. And then I like made some notes about it. Because that's the thing that uh, Dean and Wesley Smith and the other longer term uh, professional writers, uh, they are uh, recommending like making notes after you arrive and uh, yeah, but like and of course like not before because otherwise you're restraining your uh, creative voice. For like five minutes of like making some uh, notes, uh, but then I went back to write the uh, second chapter and then I was like halfway through it and then I was thinking, oh wait, I didn't address that cliffhanger that I did two uh, chapters ago. And then it sort of like turned out that I sort of like went, right, okay, so I'll do this as chapter 24 and then I'll deal with that cliffhanger in chapter 22 because I'm doing like um, two um, alternating like a point of those. Overall, what I really do encourage you to like write in to the dark because it's like really fun. Your books will be a lot better because you're just letting your creative voice do what it wants. So I really am in enjoying it. So as always, I always like, love to hear your thoughts and feelings on today's episode. So you can always email me, Connorwiley at Connorwiley.net. You can always leave a comment at the show notes at theglobalauthor.com forward slash podcast. And you can always tweet me on Twitter at theglobalauthor. I always love to hear from all of you because it really helps make the podcast sound more like a conversation. And today's episode has been sponsored by Bluehost. This is an absolutely brilliant WordPress hosting platform though because if you get a hosted WordPress site then it allows you to do so much more and your website can actually look really professional though. And Bluehost is really affordable, it's really easy to choose and I absolutely love Bluehost. So if you need a like awful website then I cannot recommend a Bluehost enough. So if you want to use my affiliate link then now please check out theglobalauthor.com forward slash Bluehost. I cannot recommend it enough. So let's move on to the content part of today's episode. So we're moving on to the content part of today's episode. So we're going to be talking about is podcasting right for writers and global authors. So I know that I've spoken about this a lot on the uh, podcast before because podcasting is going to be a potentially great marketing strategy. But you have to be a certain type of author to be able to do it though. Yeah, well, to do that. So in today's podcast episode, I'm just going to give you three main factors that you would need to consider when deciding if you want to set up a, a podcast or not. 
Do you love uh, audio and the longer term? And the reason why you really need to focus on this is because podcasting will not pay you back for years and you really need to love doing audio because when this decreases, you will still want to do audio. And uh, what I mean is, is that before I started to do podcasts, I used to love audio because it was sort of like a special treat since I couldn't do it too often. But after I started doing my weekly podcast, audio wasn't a special treat anymore, but I still love doing audio. Therefore, if you wanted to do a, a podcast, then you really have to love audio right? because this will, so you will need this determination and love to help you get through the times when you will keep producing a content but don't have much of an audience. As well as you need to have a long term focus here because my psychology podcast didn't really um, take off until six months later. And uh, my writer podcast, which you're um, listening to now, thank you. It's only after 60 weeks that I'm starting to notice an increase in that audience size. So a massive thank you from me. Overall, if you want to start a a podcast, ask yourself, do you love audio? Can you see yourself doing this for years to come? Are you wide publishing? And this is where the whole global author thing I like comes in because whilst this point isn't too important, this is a personal point and this really is a global author point because unless you're publishing wide and global, there's no point doing a podcast because podcasting is a global book marketing tool. But if these listeners that can't get your books, then you're wasting your time. So due to if your podcast takes off in Canada, Australia or the UK and people will want to buy your books, but you're in KDP Select and they're not global, then you have a massive problem because yes, Amazon has a presence in each of these countries, but Amazon isn't a dominant because the UK is, is a Kobo's second largest retailer. In fact, in all of those countries that I've just mentioned, Kobo is the, you know, the, is the largest retailer in these markets, so readers won't buy your books. In other words, if you're going to do a, a podcast, please be a global author. Do you know about your content? And this, I've actually forgotten that I've been included this. Okay, so I you know, I had to learn this the hard way or you know, with my psychology podcast because I started off doing a selected chapters from my books as a podcast episode. But what actually happened though was I was starting to grow bored. I, <laughs> yeah, I was so bored at that point. Also, there weren't too many sales going on. So I actually changed my podcast to uh, two interesting psychology articles and uh, and facts and um. And my audience grew massively, meaning by changing my content to match up what I wanted and what my audience wanted, my podcast has actually grown dramatically and a lot more su- successful. Oh, and that, oh, <laughs> yes, and I, because I'm reading the a blog post, yeah, but like, oh, that was a major <laughs> typo there. That was supposed to be, do you know your audience? <laughs> oh, yeah, that makes a lot more sense now. How are your expectations? Yes, like, these are just some more like factors. So this is a critical point because lots of writers and uh, global authors think that when they start a a podcast, they're going to sell thousands of uh, books, but it doesn't work like like that, sadly, because podcasting isn't a direct book marketing tool. Podcasting as a book marketing tool works by you attract your audience with your content, then they learn to know, like, and trust you, and then they might go on to buy stuff from you. So occasionally I do see a spice in the books that I do as a sponsored products on my psychology podcast, but that's occasionally. So again, this is a long-term game, so you need to keep it delivering high-quality episodes so people learn to trust you and they want to buy from you. Are you a fast writer? The final question that you would need to ask yourself is about your writing speed because podcasting does take time. For example, for a podcast episode, I need to write a blog post, record to the audio, edit the audio, upload the podcast and a blog post and a schedule. So for both podcasts, it takes about three to four hours a week. And if you have a full-time job, a family or something like that cuts into your writing time, then I would really caution you on starting a podcast. Because those three to four hours were longer at the beginning before I got the process down and sorted. And even now, sometimes, I sometimes, I sort of think, oh my God, I really don't want to do this editing. Can't I just pay someone else to do it? Or maybe I should just give up podcasting altogether. Please, like, because though that is a time suck for me. Yes, like, I really do just have to, like, think about it. So if you're struggling to find time to write as it is, I wouldn't start a podcast because it will only be a time suck and it will stop you writing. 
Thankfully, I'm a fast writer and I'm a bit prolific, so three to four hours doesn't really bother me. And it does help that I love audio. And I also make sure that my podcast, yeah, but like that my blog posts that are both podcasts are like high quality, you know, you know like enough so I could use them as a as a chapters in a book if I wanted to. And I've done that with a two a blog post on a coach psychology before. So the conclusion. So when it comes to deciding whether or not to start a podcast, this is a difficult decision. But now I hope that you have an idea about whether or not you should have sat on. Personally, I love podcasting, but I love doing audio. I love my audience and I'm a fast writer, so podcasting doesn't bother me. But podcasting isn't for everyone. So please have fun and think about everything I've said. So I hope that you've been enjoying today's episode and, and I hope that you learned something. If you know someone who would really enjoy today's episode, then please share it with them. I'm always really grateful when you wonderful people help spread the word about the podcast. And please check out Bluehost. And if you want, you can use my affiliate link, theglobalauthor.com forward slash Bluehost. I cannot recommend it enough. So have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you next time. Thanks sir, for listening today. I hope you found it useful. For more information, please go to theglobalauthor.com. And if you want to connect, then please reach out to me on Twitter at The Global Author. And you can find me on Facebook. For your free and exclusive Global Author video training, please go to theglobalauthor.com forward slash free. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you next time.